Okay. Year 7 light knowledge test, right? So everything you need to know for the year 7 light knowledge test at the end of a unit. Okay, so this is then a completed diagram. It's quite simple, really. Light shines onto a tree. Light is then reflected off the tree and it goes into the eye. Okay, nothing more complicated than that. Complete the table definitions. So transparent is allows all light to pass. An example is glass. Opaque means no light can pass. Bricks. Translucent is some light can pass. Sunglasses. Label the wave. <clears throat> right, so uh, what we've got here is we've got peak, we've got trough, we've got from peak to peak is a wave length. Uh, you could also have trough to trough, there's also a wavelength. And then we've also got here amplitude, right? Let's write it here amplitude, okay, which is the height of the actual wave itself. Okay. So, what we've got to do now is complete and label the ray diagram showing reflection. So, what you do is you get a ruler, and that angle and that angle should be exactly the same. So, those angles should be the same. This one. It's called the angle of incidence. All right, and this here is the incident ray. This one, let's change the color of it, we'll do green. This one is the angle of reflection. Okay, and this is then the reflected ray. This line is the normal which is 90 degrees to the uh, mirror and obviously this is then a mirror. Complete and label the ray diagram showing refraction. Okay, I always think of refraction as kind of like the bending of light. All right, so when it goes in it hits it, it bends and it comes out. Now, that line there and that line there are parallel. That there is also 45 degrees. All right. So this is the incident ray. And this one is the refracted ray. Question number six. Uh, complete the ray diagrams and name the type of lens. Right, so this is a um, this is a concave lens, and this is a convex lens. Right, so what happens with this is that bit of light there goes right away through to the middle, and there's a focal point there, and what happens is it goes through there, and it goes through there. Okay, show the arrows showing this, the light direction, and there's like a focal point. This one here, concave, one beam of light goes through there like that, but this time, what it does, it spreads out, okay? Remember, concave, concave means it goes in, so it's going in there, right, where convex ray it doesn't. Okay, the label parts of the eye, so what I'll do is I'll start here at the back, that is the retina. Okay, that's kind of the sensitive, the light sensitive part. This here is the optic nerve. Down this side here, what we've got then is we've got the ciliary muscles, right? So they're the muscles that actually can try control the size of the lens. That is then the lens. The hole in the middle is the pupil. The bit around the outside is the cornea, so if you're going to poke yourself in the eye, it's the cornea that you hit. This is the iris, which is the coloured part, which open and closes the pupil. And this, I'll just have to write it a bit bigger, suspensory lig 
garment. Okay, each one then has its own individual jobs. Right, what does a prism do? Okay, so a prism splits white light. Okay, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Okay, so that's white light. Richard of York gave battle in vain. Roy G, that's a G there. Biv, that's an I there. Right, name three primary colours. Okay, so the three primary colours are blue, red, green. Okay, so what happens is those three colours then make everything else up. What colour do you get when you mix the following? Right, red and blue, and what you can do is you can look at kind of the colour diagram. Right, so red and blue makes magenta. Should probably have done it in a magenta colour. Red and green makes yellow. Blue and green makes cyan. Red, green and blue, right, I could write it in white, right, but that would be a bit silly on a white background, makes white. Explain how we see the colours of this flag. Right, so what you've got here is you've got white light shining onto the flag. So number one, white light shines onto the flag. Number two, colours are absorbed. Okay, and number three, sunlight is reflected. Right, so we just deal with each one individually. So number one, the black. <clears throat> so what happens is white light is shone onto that. So Richard of York gave battle in vain. And with black, what happens is they're all absorbed. So there is no light that is then reflected at all. Number two, the red bit in the middle. What happens is Richard of York gave battle in vain is all shone on it. They're all absorbed except red. And what happens is the red is then reflected back into your eye. Green, Richard of York gave battle in vain. So red, orange, yellow, green is reflected. So green reflected. And then in the middle here, the white, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. They all shine onto the white and they are all reflected. Right, so that was black, um, that was red, and that was green. So what happens if you've got a red filter and light is shining, the only colour that something can get through is red. All right, so the black one will still look black because the red is absorbed. The red will look red because red light hits it and bounces back. The green will look black because the green will absorb the red. Right, key words. Uh, bringing rays of light together, converging, that is your convex lens. A lens that produces converging rays of light, okay, they kind of link into each other, is convex. Diffuse reflection, right? Reflection from a rough surface. So if you've got any rough surface at all, what it does, it spreads out the reflection. The point in which the rays refracted by a convex lens cross over is the focal point, right? So that is then where I had the lens like that, lens like that, light shines in. This is terrible again. And the focal point is that point there where they kind of all meet. Gives out light is something that is luminous. The image line at right angles to the surface, right? So if I've got my uh, mirror there, that line there is the normal. And a band of colours produced when light is spread out in the prism. Spectrum, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Okay, the colours of the rainbow.